My name is Alexei, I'm 25 years old. Once I was offered a job on a yacht, boat trips for tourists of the coast of Turkey, the Mediterranean Sea, a modern yacht, high wage. Of course, I accepted the offer. Unfortunately, then I did not realize that I was making an agreement with the criminals and would become a victim of a human trafficking. At the beginning, everything seemed to be fine. I arrived on the yacht, got basic navigation skills, and on one of the stormy days I was ordered to take a certain direction, where I was supposed to take a group of people on board. Having arrived at the final destination, I realized that these people were not tourists, but refugees from the Middle East countries. There were so many of them, several times more than the yacht could safely carry. I attempted to refuse the voyage, but I was threatened with weapons. They said if I want my family back in Ukraine to be safe, I should take the yacht to Greece. Already here, in a Greek prison, the Ukrainian consul told me that the problem of such transportation is very acute for Greece, Italy, Spain and France. And only in Greece and Italy, more than 290 citizens of Ukraine were detained on suspicion of transporting irregular migrants the regular citizens like me. Transportation of irregular migrants is organized by transnational criminal groups. As a rule, voyages are operated under extremely severe weather conditions to reduce the risk of being detained by the Coast Guard. Seduced by easy money, Ukrainians often agree to such a job, not realizing that they are being fraudulently involved in criminal activities. When my husband agreed to work on a yacht, we thought we would only part for a few months. His arrest was a tragedy for the whole family. Total helplessness. That is how we can describe our feelings. My husband is about to be sentenced to more than 100 years in prison. Greek laws are very strict. Whom to ask for help? how to find a good lawyer, how to find an interpreter in a foreign country. All our friends helped us raise money for a lawyer and to travel to Greece to visit my husband in prison. Seeing your beloved one locked up is one of the hardest challenges to face in life. Our life changed. Court hearings is what we mark on the calendar now instead of holidays, again and again. Recruitment of people by deception, followed by their involvement in criminal activities related to the transportation of irregular migrants, is a human trafficking crime. Don't let criminals deceive you. If you suspect that you or your family members may be forced to transport irregular migrants, please contact the National Police of Ukraine by calling 102 or visit the nearest National Police office at the place of the crime place of your residence or registration. You can get advice on employment abroad by calling the hotline 527.